Now that the pollen seems to have settled down in Georgia, at least for the time being, I think it's time to finally wash this car. I did the inside with you know that leather conditioner and I just cleaned everything off a little bit and already, I don't know how much you can see, but there's enough pollen in it to, to draw. It's filthy. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna walk you around the car and just show you. I mean, from a distance, it still looks pretty good. Up close, it is, it is in really rough shape. So what I'm gonna do is wash the outside of the car, vacuum the inside, wipe everything down, and try to, try to make it look a little nicer now that the pollen seems to have died way, way down. Here's the tail end of the car, which, I mean, overall, right, the car looks, looks pretty good right now. And then you get up close and you can see, I mean, down here, we're pretty dirty. These could definitely be a lot shinier. And then the back end of the car where it sits flat has just got all these water spots where the pollen has sat on the paint, gotten wet, gotten air dried, windows are polleny. There's our surface finish. So just generally a little grimy. Look at the back of the mirrors are pretty grimy too. So here's sort of our before state. This is covered in fingerprints and stuff. Back here, some really noticeable water spotting. It's just generally pretty dirty. So it should be pretty satisfying to get a clean. There's pollen marks on the windows. Nasty, I don't know if that's a bug, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and hopefully make it look even nicer. So the first thing I want to do is just get the whole car wet. Oh my goodness, look at that. Dirty, grimy water running right off. So I'm just gonna, without too much pressure here, because I don't really trust all the seals on this car that well, I'm gonna just wet everything down, put it in the roof line. Nice thing is the interior is not in the best shape at the moment, so if a little bit of water gets in there, it'll be fine until I can get in there and clean it up anyway. The only bummer about washing right now is that I'm washing in the broad sunlight during daytime. You know, I like to wash in a shaded area or on a cloudy day if I can, because it will keep the water from drying quicker than I can keep up with it and forming water spots. So I'm just gonna have to continually re-wet the car today. All right, now that everything's nice and wet, I'm gonna make a bucket of soapy water. I've got two of these little microfiber wash mitts, one on my hand, one is down in that bucket. These are really nice, they won't scratch the car, make it quick to wash. And then I've got some of this Gold Class car wash. This is just soap that uh, won't tear away at the clear coat on the car. It'll you know keep the car's paint and everything intact, but will remove all the dirt and grime. You really don't want to use dish soap on your car. So what I'm gonna do is pour a little bit of that in the bottom, and I'm gonna leave those mitts right in here. I don't care if they soak it up, because I'm about to Get them covered in it too. So I'll pour a little soap in the bottom of this. That ought to do it. And spray it with the hose on hard to get it really nice and sudsy and we'll get after it. Nice lather going. And I'm gonna re-wet the car. It's in this heat. I'm sure we're already starting to have water spots formed. So I'm just gonna spray it down. Ooh, that water feels nice, cold. Go top to bottom. So that all the dirt and grime and stuff that I'm Releasing is running down on the parts I haven't cleaned yet. The windows. I'm actually going to redo these windows with glass cleaner anyway, but I'll get everything with soapy water. Windshield. Go ahead and do the rear windshield. Just going to get lots of soap. that rear windshield and start to get the back over here window of course I don't want to leave this soapy water on any one part of the car for too long because it'll start to dry just wipe this down probably do the roof windows and tail of the car at once and then I'll rinse in a second here do that big old bonnet front It's starting to dry, so time to hit it with the hose. Go top down. Let's 
start to rinse that off. Try to keep everything wet this whole time. It's gonna be a little bit of a battle with this heat and sun, but I think we can do it. All right, at this point, the entire car has been washed with those mitts, soap and water rinsed, it's wet. I just sprayed it a moment ago. It's looking really nice. My next priority then is gonna be to get that water off the car before it has a chance to dry and leave little spots. All right, so we are freshly dried. Paint just feels nicer. I don't know if you can see how it's catching the light, but it looks just that little bit much shinier. I mean, I know I didn't actually wax or buff any of that, but the car really does look that much nicer. It feels nicer to the touch. It doesn't have that grimy pollen-y feel to it anymore. So here we are after drying. The last thing I wanna do is use that glass cleaner on in and outside of all the windows, and then go ahead and shine the tires. After using that rain -X glass cleaner that I used in an earlier episode, this is what we're looking like. So the car is clean, dry, the glass has been cleaned and protected from water with that rain -X stuff. So my very last step is to go ahead and shine these nice tall tire walls. And so I'm not actually sure how that process is gonna go just yet. So I'm gonna read the bottle and we'll get after it. So to shine the tire walls, I picked up this bottle of spray tire shine. And after reading, I expected I would have to like spray it, then brush it on or something and then wipe it off. But really all this says is spray on the tire wall. And if you get it on anything else, wipe it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just spray it directly on and we'll see. We'll start on the sunny side of the car so we can really see what this stuff does. I don't wanna get this on the tread because I think even the bottle says, you know, that could make the tread slippery, which means losing grip on the road, which something I, I certainly don't want. I don't want this to be dry, so I'm gonna grab a towel. I'll wipe that down really quick. Just keeping my towels in the car so they wouldn't be sitting on the dirty ground. Picking up debris to drag along the paint. say washing this car today gave me an even deeper appreciation for the lines beautifully designed car i'm gonna let that set for a moment i'm gonna grab a cloth and i'm sure i oversprayed under the rims just a little bit so let's wipe those down clean dry cloth and just wipe inside of the rim now that that's had a minute to sit let's see oh, it really does look jet black it's shiny so we'll see in a little while once it's had some time to sit and dry up if it continues to look nice and wet like that but i would say that's a victory and with that i think we'll call it done